Hey guys, welcome to your um, bonus energy check-in for uh, Gemini. This is uh, going to be for the rest of your December. So uh, we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the rest of December. And then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on my new YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to travel, the link for that is in the description box below. Uh, do all the YouTube stuff. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, yeah? So, Gemini. Tell about Gemini. Energy check-in for Gemini. Overall energies for Gemini for uh, the rest of their December. For Gemini. For Gemini. For Gemini. Okay. We have the Sun in the Seven of Swords. Okay. Hmm. Uh, right off the bat, what comes off... What the energy that I'm picking up here is that I feel like for the rest of December, even going onward here, I just feel like you guys are really protective of your energy, really protective of the happiness that you've achieved at this time here, okay? There could be uh, people in around you that's trying to sabotage it, but I feel like, you know, you could be in this energy of feeling really untouchable at this time here. You know, with the Eight of Wands here and the Wheel of Fortune here, I feel like things are rapidly changing for you. Okay, changing very fast, changing very quickly here, you know, and I feel like that change is very personal. You know, I do feel like maybe it, it, it's like a very personal change, a very personal journey that you've been going through here. It could be that the karmic wheel is turning in your favor at this time, or that karma is balancing out here. We have the Knight of Cups and the Five of Pentacles here. Okay, this could be an indication that... You know, someone here could be missing you or that you could be missing somebody. Some, like, you could be feeling lonely at this time here, okay? You know, it could be a sense of, like, yearning for somebody, uh, missing somebody, wanting someone to come back, okay? Five of Pentacles here and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces here. With the Five of Pentacles here, there could be some sort of financial struggle that you're going through here. You know, with the Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups here, I mean, I mean, someone here could be coming in with an apology here, uh, you know, saying that, you know what, Gemini, I apologize for ghosting you or dipping out on you or something like that. King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You know, during this time, I feel like you guys are definitely very emotional or that you guys are really open at this time here. You know, really open with your intuition, your sensitivity, with your emotions here. So I feel like you guys are definitely sharing a lot emotionally at this time, okay? Or that you guys are just like, just really tapped into the universe, really tapped into yourself at this time here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. What is the Wheel of Fortune here? And the full Aries energy, Aquarius energy. New beginnings are happening here for you. I mean, I just feel like you're really excited about what's to come in 2024 because 2023 might have been a great year or that it might have been a difficult year where you're closing out this kind of like this chapter here and just moving forward. With the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and the Fool. You could be receiving communication from somebody here that misses you or something like that. Um, but maybe you're avoiding this person here because maybe this person lied to you, this person could have sabotaged you, this person could have taken advantage of you, taken advantage of, of your kindness or something like that. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Uh, tell me about the Seven of Swords here. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The Seven of Swords and the Hangman, Piscean Energy, the, uh, the Sun. Why is the Sun here? And the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, for the rest of the month here, I feel like you guys might be working a lot here. Okay? And, and it's so interesting. I feel like right now, you know, I feel like you guys, maybe you guys have been taking advantage of a lot. 
been hurt a lot by people here. And you feel like people that are in or around you, you're definitely observing them very, very, very closely, okay? To make sure that they don't hurt you again or take advantage of you again, okay? So I feel like you've gained a lot of perspective on how to deal and handle with people here due to the experiences that you've been through here, okay? What else do we have here for Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know? Look out for, work on here for Gemini for the rest of their December for Gemini. All right, so we have the Strength card and the Three of Swords. Seems like you guys are on the mend here. Seems like you guys have gone through a period of really reclaiming your power, getting back on your own two feet here, and healing like heartbreak. Yeah, because I feel like some of you guys have been through several, several painful heartbreaks here. We have the Emperor Aries Energy and the Chariot. Seems like there's some sort of forward movement that's happening here. I feel like change is happening for... Change is happening pretty quickly. It's coming in very quickly for you. And I feel like you guys might be recognizing it, okay? So, you know, some of you guys kind of manifested this change here, okay? And I feel like it's happening. Uh, we have the Seven of Cups here and the Seven of Pentacles, okay? Seems like you guys are definitely going through some sort of introspective time here too. You know, some of you guys are definitely, you know, have a lot of new ideas or that you guys have you know, uh, definitely a lot on your mind here or your emotional heart space here. And, you know, I do feel like there is a sense of definitely reassessing here, you know, perhaps currently reassessing on, you know, how to move forward, you know, how to let go of something here that's no longer serving you. Uh, perhaps it's this person that's coming back that you've let go of and I feel like you're just going to continue to let this person go, okay? Whoever this is, I do feel like someone here is definitely trying to maybe snake their way back into your life here. The Seven of Pentacles here and the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energies, the Seven of Cups here and the World card. Definitely a tough karmic cycle is closing out here for you. Yeah, because I feel like you're definitely, you know, I feel like you're feeling like the energy is lighter. The thickness of the energy, the heaviness of the energy is kind of like, it's being alleviated, it's being moved here, okay? So I do feel like a tough cycle is closing out here, okay? This is so interesting. You know, some of you guys might have dealt with a lot of childhood trauma and I feel like you guys are releasing that here too. Yeah, because I feel like some of you guys have been running from it or escaping from it uh, for a very long time, didn't deal with it here. You know, and I feel like finally maybe you've dealt with it. We have the Justice card, Libra Energy and the Chariot. We have the Emperor and the Magician here, Gemini Virgo. I feel like one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like you're mastering your own de destiny at this time here. You've taken full control, you're in the driver's seat here. You know, I feel like even though you've gone through a hard time, I feel like it never really stopped you in your tracks here. You just continued moving forward, trucking forward here. Okay, the magician Gemini Virgo. You know, I, this is so interesting because I feel like you are the magician here. You are making things happen here, Gemini. For yourself okay so the magician gemini virgo the justice card libra energy tell me about the three of swords here why is it three of swords here three of swords and the six of pentacles the uh strength card why is the strength card here and the four cups you guys are definitely looking for uh, you know new opportunities here that you guys are trying to see these new opportunities that are coming in for you why is the four of cups here with the page of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, yeah. Um, you know, I do feel like it's important for you guys to definitely do some research here, whatever you guys are trying to pursue or whatever you guys are trying to make happen here. Yeah, two of swords, I feel like you're definitely confused about something here where you need clarity on. I feel like it has something to do with your health here. Yeah, with the, uh, with the strength card. Yeah, maybe there's something from the past that's coming up, that's coming up to the surface that needs to be dealt with here regarding your health. But, you know, in terms of you making things happen, things are happening. All right. So Gemini, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.